it takes time for the current to stabilize. And it depends on a time constant. The time constant is L over R. This is my L, this is my R. I cannot change the R. Yes, I can. I can probably do with the different cables, different instrument, introduce a resistance. But the problem is if I introduce the resistance, then I need more power. So I'd like to minimize my cable resistance. So the instrument measures the transformer, not the cables. And let's just say R, I cannot really change. The only thing I can do is play with this L. L is inductance. And if you understand a magnetic core and winding wound around the magnetic core, <coughs> There is air in between oil, air, and what you can do is force the flux to go outside of that magnetic core, which means to saturate the core and force it to go through the air. Then you lower the inductance, and I'll show you how you do that. But important thing is, that if this is my time constant, if I wait five time constants, I get 1% accuracy. If I wait nine time constant, it is 0.1% of the accuracy. And you know what? You do a test on a transformer, you start in the morning, you probably do tangents delta, bushings, excitation, turns ratio, SFRA, polarization index, uh, uh, short circuit impedance, uh, I don't know what else you do and by the time you come to this particular test which is always the last one and DC test you always do the last it's probably six seven at night you want to go home you don't want to wait for 15 time constant to get the result proper you want this done faster. Mm -hmm.